marine iguanas often host small lizards to keep away the flies. Hey bro, you know the drill? Yep, I'm on it. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Easy Peasy. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. You know me, I'm your narrator, David the Baker, and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash animals being bros. That's right, it's a new subreddit. It's kind of like if Made Me Smile and r slash awe came together and made this adorable subreddit. I know you guys are ready for the video, so without further ado, let's go. One of the earliest uses of animal therapy, baby ducks cheering up a little girl undergoing respiratory therapy for polio in 1956. I don't know about you, but this definitely puts a smile on my face. Aw, oh, you think this is cute? Nah, nah, these two animals are fighting to the death, starting with headbutts. Still though, it's kinda cute. They said it couldn't be done. Dogs and cats as best friends? <laughs> it's beautiful, man. UPS has a page where drivers post about all the dogs they meet on the job. Rudy is blind as a bat, but doesn't stop him from following the sound of my truck until I feed him. Aw, oh, that's cute. You see, the dog is taking care of these baby ducks. It's probably thinking, these are the weirdest puppies I've ever seen, but they're so cute. Oh my god, I love orangutans. I know this is easy peasy and we're kind of on the clock right now, but after this video, you should go look up on YouTube Valentino Orangutan. You'll find a whole documentary about an orangutan school. It's adorable. I love it. And I love these two. Next meme. They have secret conversations in the evenings when they think we're not watching. Hey, uh, Mr. Bunny, you know, cats like to kill bunnies, but uh, you're my best friend and I would never do that to you. Stray dog that helped kindergartners cross the road got a big doghouse and an appreciation star. You know what? Cause you deserved it, doggo. Congratulations. Chicken looking after kittens during a storm. My God, don't you worry guys, I'll take care of you. Hello everyone, welcome back to your daily dose of animal bros. Here's a picture of a cow and a cat being two best friends. Who would have thought cows and cats could be such close friends? Also, who would have thought that a cow could look so fluffy? I mean like seriously, this cow looks softer than the cat. Our handsome boy alerted my wife and I to his sister having a medical emergency, so he earned a certificate. She was rushed to the vet and is doing well now. Aw, uh, the cat's face is like, I, I, I can't read, but you guys are smiling, so yeah, that's good. Each year in Italy, animals are moved to a higher ground to graze, but the lambs are too young to make the trip, so they are carried in special pouches worn by donkeys. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. You know, everybody says the kangaroo is the well-known animal with the pouch, but nah, 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 donkeys. Now nah, those guys, they know how to use a pouch. The cat rescued by the canine dog named Bob in the Izmir earthquake. Well, I'm glad this cat was rescued and look how happy the dog is for finding the cat. Good job, doggo. Ah, uh, you know, it looks like it's one of those days where you can just put your head down and you know, relax on a nice comfy pillow. You know, even if the pillow is another animal. Baby elephants holding trunks. Aww, they're like, hey bro, we gotta stick together. Yeah, thanks bro. Orangutan lending a helping hand to a man clearing away snakes from a conservation forest area to protect orangutans. Hey bro, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Now come on, take my hand. Me and this deer chilled for a solid 15 to 20 minutes. I was so close, I could have reached out and touched him. Rose for life. Yo, that buck is chillin'. He ain't worried about nothing. He's like, hey, you and me, we're cool. I love to see it. Well, I think I know who the mama cat is. Wait a second, is that a dog? That's a dog. Dang it, I, <laughs> I thought it was another like larger cat, but actually on, on closer look, I'm pretty sure that's a dog. That's kind of a fail, but you know, we're just gonna move on to the next meme. Husky lost in the woods, caught on camera making friends with a buck. Oh sure, the husky got lost in the woods. We all know what's going on here. These these two are in a secret relationship. They snuck out to be together. I'm onto your tricks, Husky. My nephew taking a nap with Misty Girl. Misty Girl, who's Mi Oh, that's Misty Girl. Ah, that's sweet. Hey bro, that's my stick. No, that's my stick. You know what? It's, it's our, our stick. stick. There's an island off the coast of Australia where a pair of dogs guard a colony of tiny penguins so they won't be wiped out by foxes. The little penguin colony was nearly extinct until 2006 when the trained sheepdogs were put on the island to be their protectors. No penguins have been killed by foxes since the program began, and the population increased from fewer than 10 to nearly 200. Ah, you love to see it, and these sheepdogs are absolute heroes. My friend's dogs were caught hugging before a visit to the vet. Hey bro, we're gonna get through this. <laughs> I know man, I know. Hey, sometimes it's the comfort that counts. Thanking the sanctuary guardian. 
You see that giraffe right there? That's a gosh darn hero. I mean, to be fair, before I read the title, I did not know that a giraffe was gonna be the guardian of the sanctuary, but kudos to this giraffe. Early this morning, our marshy ran through the halls, chirping loudly. We woke up to the smell of burning plastic, got all of our babies out, and it turned out to be a bad blower on the furnace per the fireman. Still, he saved us. The smell was rancid. Our hero. You know, when you said chirping loudly, I thought you were talking about a bird, but hey, if it's a cat who saved the day, kudos to you, cat. When you volunteer to be the designated driver, I volunteer as tribute. Onward, fellow puppies. This little dude and I have had breakfast slash lunch together every day for the last four weeks, always bringing him something to eat, and he just sits next to me for the entire break at work. My dude. I wonder if these two talk about their work day. Like they're like, ah oh, man, I'm getting worked hard back at the office. Ah, oh, I know, man. I couldn't even find any worms today. Now this is the pinnacle of animals being bros. You don't gotta use your hands to hold up the phone. Now nah, the cat gets to rest his head and you get to watch your show. It's a win-win situation. My grandma's cat is scared of everything except her dog. The one thing you'd expect them to be afraid of is the only thing that keeps them comfort. Ah, that's beautiful. Male lizard holding up his GF so she can take a nap. Huh, this is kind of like human couples. You're just like, uh, I, I guess I'll, I'll just stay here. No, it's fine. Go ahead and get some sleep. Uh, that's that's really sweet. This dog seems to have undergone surgery. Aw, it's really nice that while this dog is still recovering, it still has company. Because that's what friends are for. That's what friends are for. Every day, my uncle's cat waits at the end of the driveway for him to return from his morning walk. Aw, I love that. The cat's just really being a bro. He's like, all right, I know his schedule. He'll be back in 30 seconds. My new kitten is trying to play Clue. Well, uh, did they win? Their face just says, I have no idea what's going on. Hmm, the Australian magpie. Good reading material. What do you think, magpie? Eh, that book's all right. Little wild starling baby friend flew in to hang out out of nowhere. He also cleaned my ear for me. I'm pretty sure he was looking for food, but sure, sure, he cleaned out your ear. Taken from another page. My neighbor's black cat had kittens and they found a baby possum on their deck that must have fallen off from its mom. The mama cat took it in as one of her kittens, but she doesn't understand why this little funny kitten hangs on her all the time. At this point in time, we need to be more like animals. Take care of each other in their time of need. The mama cat doesn't know what's going on, but you know, they're just rolling with it. Hey dog, you locked up in the fence? Yeah, my owners won't let me out. Well, don't worry, I'll keep you company. Aw, oh, thanks. My cat, who is normally indifferent to my dog, won't leave her side since she has come home from the hospital. I mean, what can I say? Cats just know when people are feeling down. Once they understand that the person is not feeling too well, the cats up their affection levels. It's quite adorable. Mm-hmm, I see. The duo no one saw coming. The Chick and the Rabbit. That actually sounds like a movie title. Coming to theaters near you. Hello? Hello? When you are watching them, they pretend like the other doesn't exist. When you catch them, oh, they love each other. Oh, their faces look so guilty. They're like, uh, I don't know who tore up the trash, but you wouldn't punish the both of us, right? Right? Ostrich feather pillow. You know, that ostrich probably doesn't want to be there, but it's just like, he's too heavy. I can't move. This is my wife's cat that still lives with her parents. I'm kind of his favorite. Yeah, I, I can kind of tell you're his favorite. I mean, come on, that high five is solid. My cats are more polite than the people at Walmart. This happens whenever we put out a new flavor of cat food. Aw, they're waiting in line. How civilized. Although, to be fair, being more polite than the people at Walmart isn't a very high bar to leap over. I mean, seriously, some people at Walmart are complete jerks. Caught red pod loving each other. Uh-huh, I caught you guys. You're supposed to hate each other, but look at you. You adorable mother fluffers. You know, you think this is a cute photo, but what's really happening is a tug of war that's lasted for days. None of them are few to let go of the stick, so this is their life now. How tragic. Dog learned to pick up plastic when owner was doing it and gave the dog treats for finding trash. Cleaned the entire neighborhood because that's what heroes do. You see, humans might try to harm the environment by leaving out litter, but no siree, not on this dog's watch. This dog is awesome. Pre-pandemic, my dog got treats when I left for work. Now he gets treats when I go to my desk. I've accidentally trained her to be my supervisor. This is her waiting in my office for me to stop eating lunch. Ah, you kind of played yourself with this one, didn't you? She's like, excuse me, mister, get back to work. Look, cats, I get it. The sheeps are soft, they're comfortable, but you can't treat them like beds. That's just not fair. Lackland AFB TX has a brick path that pays tribute to the fallen heroes. Thanks to all the dogs who served. All the dogs abandoned in Vietnam. Rest in peace. 
Doggos welcoming their newly adopted sister. Ah, talk about a warm welcome. You know, in some places in Europe, they kiss people on the cheek when they greet them. I mean, and that's okay, but how come humans don't act like this? You know, you're meeting somebody for the first time, you just run up to them, you just lick their face like, <sniffs> definitely gonna make for a pretty interesting first encounter. My dog was lonely since I've been working so much lately, so I got him a cat. 10 out of 10 would do it again. Aww. She knows when I've had a long day and gives me many bumps because that's what a loving and affectionate cat does. You just get all the bumps. You know, people said animals from the land and sea couldn't intermingle and be nice to each other. Well, I'm here to say that those people are wrong. And this is exhibit A. Can't let this buddy here serve time by himself. Hey buddy, if you're in timeout, then I'm in timeout too. <laughs> now that's loyalty right there. Mom owns a ranch. Real life puss in boots with his friend's donkey. <gasps> It really is puss in boots. Now all we need is a six foot tall ogre. Just gonna lay back and pop a cold one with the boys. Ain't that right, Rex? My dude is waiting for the mailman and he's using the other dog as a stepping stool. You know what, I get it. You need the height and quite frankly, you don't have it. Respect, little dog. This little guy has always been on my path for my walks, but yesterday and today, he approached and curled up right next to me when I stopped for a break, hoping to bring it a snack slash water tomorrow. Oh, it's a stray. Hopefully you get that food to him. Wild mule deer, saying hello to a wild at heart house cat. You see, this is sweet and all, but I'm not sure if that cat is really happy to see the deer. He's probably thinking, ah, oh, you're lucky there's no glass between us, otherwise I'd show you what's up. And you know what, we're gonna end off the video with an adorable picture of two bros just, just chilling, just, you know, spooning a little bit, just sleeping together. Ah, that's so sweet. And with that, everyone, that's the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed this episode of r slash animals being bros. If you like this new subreddit and our other videos, make sure to leave a like down below and don't forget to support the channel by pressing the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell to be notified of all our easy peasy uploads. I'm your narrator, David the Baker, and if you wanna hear more from me, my channel link is down in the description below. I can't wait to see y'all in the next video. So till then, peace out and three thumbs up.